Hello everybody, thank you for watching. My name is Don. I want to speak about the importance of faith you know, as a Christian. It's so very important. I'm, I'm going to read you some scriptures. First of all, I want to show you a picture of a knight. There. How important it is for a knight in, in a battle to have a shield to protect him. Because we're in a battle against not only flesh but spiritual warfare and without a shield of the knight to protect him from these burning arrows he would easily fall and die in battle it's the same way uh, with us in Ephesians chapter uh, 6 Verses, yes, Hebrews 6, verse 16. I will read that, which says, I'll read from 15. And with your feet shod with the equipment of the good news of peace, and above all, this is the, this is the take up the large shield of faith. With which you can, with which you will be able to quench all the wicked ones burning missiles. You see, above all, very very vital. This is it. We're able to quench all the burning arrows of the wicked one. Yes, Satan. We're we're in a constant battle spiritually. The devil wants to try and knock us down, and we we must do our very best to in improve our, sh our faith because that is what's going to guard us from this is here to quench this is here the, all the wicked ones burning arrows because they're constantly being bombarded to us against us for instance things like doubt Satan uses doubt to get us down you know sometimes we we make mistakes, well we make mistakes every day because we're sinners but you know he uses doubt to knock us down with his burning arrows, you know he uses temptation which temptation is put all around us to knock us down I mean on TV, films, magazines, I mean anything to erode us and knock us down or bring us down you know spiritually you know knock our faith, that's what it's all about, he wants to knock us faith and all this uh, stress and worry due to maybe financial problems you know, uh, you know, marital problems, family problems but that's why it's vital that we strengthen our shield of faith and I'll read some uh, scriptures do not worry about all these things, it says put your faith in God you know, you know really pray and ask and he will he will help you put, just put your trust in God as Jesus said do not worry about tomorrow just worry about today because you you don't know what happens tomorrow Jesus said God do not worry about Jesus said do not worry about what you're going to eat or what you're going to drink or what you're going to wear because God knows these things before you even tell him you know so and so let me read some scriptures in 1st Timothy uh, verse 6 verse 12 says fight the fine fights of the faith get a firm hold on the everlasting life for which you were called and you offer the fine public declaration in front of many witnesses you see how important it is it says fight the, the, you know, the fine fight of faith so it's a constant battle we face you know, where the devil trying to knock us down, off, knock off faith, and lose, says it, everlasting life through Christ. And then, in Hebrews 11, verse 6, very important scripture. Moreover, without faith, it is impossible to please Him, to please to please God. For he that approaches God must believe that He is, that He is, exists, and that He becomes the rewarder of those earnestly seeking him well that's how important it is without faith 
you can't believe in God and you can't approach him in prayer in, in prayer because he won't listen to you faith is so important without which you can't please God in Galatians chapter 3 verse 7 surely you know that those who are dear to faith are the ones who are the sons of Abraham now the scriptures seen in advance that God would declare people of the nations righteous due to faith declare the good news before unto Abraham namely by means of you all the nations will be blessed so consequently those who are dear to faith are being blessed together with the faithful Abraham so God is saying that he declares people righteous due to faith you see how important it is in 2 Corinthians 5 7 this is Paul to the Corinthians he says for we are walking by faith not by sight so that is the only way God will accept our faith by it says our faith by by it says faith but not by sight this is it for we are walking by faith not by sight meaning we must not our faith should be from the heart when we pray to God and you know ask repentance for the Lord Jesus but not from through any idols whatsoever it's true that the Jews always required a sign but the Gentiles didn't so that's why I said we must walk by faith that's the only w acceptable means not by any form of idols or religious icons and Romans uh, 10 and 9 says for it is you it, but for, it, for if you publicly declare that word in your own mouth that Jesus is Lord and exercise faith in your heart that God raised up from the dead you will be saved for with the heart one exercises faith for righteousness but with the mouth one de makes public declaration for salvation so if you he says here if you exercise faith in your heart that God raised him up from the dead you will be saved so faith in your heart rather than idol idols so that's the only means of salvation if we have strong faith that can save us must remember that this you must strengthen your faith now when when the tribulation comes that you know the Bible Christ you know warns us you know you must strengthen your faith now as it says in John uh, 15 verse 17 these things I command you that this is here, that you love one another if the world hates you you know that it has hated me before it hated you if you were part of the world the world would be fond of what it is done now because you are no part of the world because I've chosen you out of the world on the account of the world hates you account says it, on this account the world hates you bear in mind the word I say to you a slave is not greater than his master if they persecuted me they will persecute you also if you you know if they have observed my word they will observe yours also so you see you know strengthen your faith now because uh, to save us uh, from giving in to persecution and forfeiting our everlasting life to come and uh, Matthew it says here uh, Matthew 21 18 I think Matthew 21 18 while returning to the city early in the morning he kept hungry this is show how you know with faith you can do anything you know if you believe in God and have faith you can do anything while returning to the early city early in the morning he got hungry and he got he caught a sight of a fig tree by the road and went to it but he found nothing no figs on a tree on it except leaves only and he said to it let no fruit come from you any more forever and the fig tree withered instantly but when the disciples saw this they wondered saying how is it that the fig tree w withered instantly in answer Jesus said to him surely I say to you if only you have faith and do not doubt not only will you 
do this, what I did to the fig tree, but also if you say to this mountain, be lifted up and cast into the sea, it will happen. You see, what you said, if your faith is so, you know, with faith you can do anything. If you really believe in God, he will help you through, you know, all problems you have. Just trust in him completely. Trust in with God with all your heart and he will give you all you need. This is in Psalm 37, uh, in verses 3 to 6. Trust in God, Yahweh, and do good. Reside on the earth and deal with faithlessness and take exquisite delight in, Jehovah, in, in God and he will give you the requests of your heart. Roll upon God your way and rely upon him and he himself will act and he will certainly bring forth your righteousness as the light itself and your justice as the midday. See, trust in God and all you want he will give you because he knows before you even pray. As Jesus said to a man who had a demon-possessed boy, he says, he says, immediately crying out, the father of the young child was saying, I have faith, help me out where I need faith. Jesus said, you know, says, Jesus said, why all things can be to the one, if one has faith, anything is possible. And do not be scared to, Go, uh, go to to pray to God and give to give you faith to strengthen your faith in Ephesians 6 uh, 16 or verse uh, 17 also accept the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is God's word while with every form of prayer and supplication you can carry on prayer on every occasion in spirit so that at, to the end keep awake with all constantly and with supplication in, a, in behalf of all the holy ones. So it says there, well, every form of prayer, carry on prayer, praying, it says this praying will help you strengthen your faith. You know, so that's very important. So I know prayer has helped me quite a lot. When I feel weak, my faith has felt weak in the past. I've always, I pray every day, you know, to, to strengthen my faith. So, as Ephesians says, it's very important. And John 3.16, which says, For God loved the world so much that he gave his only begotten Son, in order that everyone exercising faith in him might not be destroyed, but have everlasting life. Can you imagine that? A wonderful hope. But you need to exercise faith through uh, Yeshua, uh, God's Son, and gain everlasting life. I'll finish off with one important one. This is it. Indeed, as the body without spirit is dead, so also faith without works is dead. Of course, faith is very, very important, but works, that is, do righteousness, righteous works, you know, the works of the Spirit, you know, love, kindness to people with a combination of faith in Christ uh, that he, you know, died for us forgive us our sins and repent for his names and we will be saved so hopefully you like this video strengthen your faith keep strong you know, you need to put 100% faith in God in Christ and uh, God will help us so hope you like in, uh, this video and um, please uh, leave a comment. Thank you very much. Bye.